Long before I joined UUSF, I was a trail leader with the University of Hawaii Sierra Club. And on my rare days off from studying or working part-time to put myself through college, I would lead hikes and enjoy the lush tropical forests of Oahu. One of the trails that I especially enjoyed was the Pomoho Ridge Trail, which is an amazing hike through tropical forests up to the Ko'olau Summit, where spectacular views on the north shores of Oahu can be seen. The Pomoho Ridge Trail was especially significant to me not only because of its rewarding views at the summit and challenging hiking conditions such as plank bridges, narrow, windy, and sometimes muddy ridge paths with steep terrain on one or both sides, but also because my father worked in the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s and the CCC camp at Waihawa transformed an obscure wilderness trail into this accessible trail to be enjoyed by the public. Afui Lai was in his late teens when the Waihua camp was established in 1934. He was old enough to understand that the Great Depression of the 1930s hit Hawaii very hard. The sugar and pineapple economy of the American colonizers had collapsed due to lack of demand for such goods. Lacking a diversified economic base, the people of Hawaii faced high unemployment, which would reach 25% in 1936, leading to the threat of starvation across the islands. Wandering in the wilderness that was the Depression, with little to eat and no money in his pockets, my father jumped at the chance to join the CCC, as did an estimated 8 to 10% of Hawaii's young men at the time. They were provided food, clothing, shelter, and free medical care, and were paid $30 a month. Of, of that amount, $25 were deducted and sent directly to their families. Through their backbreaking work and endless hours of toiling in hot, humid conditions, my father and his CCC colleagues built a legacy of hiking trails and provided much needed support for their families. Their contributions also meant that the people of Hawaii survived these hard times and their kids, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren would contribute to the building of today's Hawaii and beyond. I appreciate my father's courage and determination to build trails, stabilize his family's economic condition, and help his community through the Depression years. Now, almost 90 years later, I am determined to support UUSF with a pledge to support our society through the wilderness of the pandemic, which hopefully has passed the worst, but still not over. UUSF has given me a spiritual home and much needed support when pandemic triggered anti-Asian hate affected me personally. Let's continue to help each other through these still challenging times by making our pledges to sustain this religious community. Happy trails, everyone.